Well, new tonight here on The Current, we are following a developing story in Alaska where at least one person was killed in a landslide. Homes and roads are damaged in the town of Kachikin, forcing evacuations. Alaska's governor issuing a disaster declaration while the threat of more damage looms. And this all comes as much of the country deals with extreme heat, breaking records right here in the Midwest. Melissa Don has our coverage tonight. Evacuation orders are in place after a deadly landslide tore through Ketchikan, Alaska Sunday, killing at least one person and injuring three. This following heavy rainfall from over the weekend. Um, you need to get out of here, Dad. Multiple homes and roads are damaged, while officials are concerned a second landslide could destroy more of the community. I'm really concerned for them because the weather hasn't stopped down there. It's still raining and blowing. Ketchikan got nearly three inches of rain over the weekend, which is about half their average monthly total. Higher elevations reporting more. Too much rain at once after a drier period can cause a landslide. So we feel that we've done about everything we can to address the immediate needs of this incident. Uh, we, we are experiencing intermittent rain. Uh, it was also high winds yesterday. So as long as that's not repeated and we can assure the site is stable, hopefully it won't get worse. Hot weather is what is affecting people in other parts of the country. 40 million Americans are under heat alerts from Oklahoma to Michigan. Chicago students going back to school amid an excessive heat warning in the Midwest. The district canceling outside recess and physical education classes for today and tomorrow. We won't have any outdoor recess. We've canceled all sports events. And of course, you know, depending on the time of the day, not to have our children in any hot rooms. Public schools in Detroit are shortening their first days of school due to the heat. And out here on the West, the hot weather persists. This, as new research from the medical journal JAMA, shows that heat-related deaths are on the rise. Melissa Adan, ABC News, Los Angeles.